The Minecraft community is trying to hold the game back from its true potential. Not everyone in it, but a large group of people. And this problem is bad. Very bad. So I'm not gonna delay any further, let's just get right into it. In my recent video, What is Minecraft Actually About?, I talked a lot about people missing the point of Minecraft. But I thought this was a relatively small group of people, but I recently found out that this problem is much, much larger than anyone has really realized. Remember in that video we talked about the many different aspects of Minecraft and how no one is really more deserving of attention from the developers than any other. These aspects including things like building, exploration, engineering, progression, and combat. But what I didn't know back then was just how many people actually didn't want the game to be improved, because the number is truly frightening. And this is causing so much toxicity that the community just really cannot go on like this. Now, let me explain, first with some story time. So, the other day I watched a video titled Minecraft's Exploration Problem by Jet Starfish. It is a very viewed and all-around pretty good video. Basically, all of the changes that he makes in that video are good. There's not really any harm that comes from them, aside from some of the deep, dark changes and then frustration about the mod being locked behind a paywall, but that's not really what's important here. It was still a pretty good video that made many improvements to Minecraft's exploration system. But people didn't like it, and I'll tell you why in a bit. But anyway, then a few hours later, I saw a video. It was called Jet Starfish's New Video is Terrible, Here's Why, by The Haze. And this person had also critiqued another one of Jet Starfish's videos in the past, about largely why Minecraft's progression is bad. Again, neither of the Jet Starfish videos were perfect. There was some concepts he didn't seem to quite grasp, some information that he left out they should have included, and some exaggerations. But still, overall good critiques. And then the Hayes' videos were pretty bad. They were mostly just nitpicking over things that didn't really matter, but basically, the main argument of both of the videos combined was decorative blocks is enough motivation for everyone to do things because building is all that matters in Minecraft. <laughs> That's right, remember we talked about how there were a lot of people that thought one aspect of Minecraft was better than all of the others and was the most important, that in most cases being building, this was one of those people, a building supremacist is the term I'll be using from here on out. Because it's people like this who completely miss the point of Minecraft, and then ironically try to talk about other people missing the point of Minecraft. <laughs> the video was also bad because the haze was basically just trash-talking Jet Starfish for putting the mod behind a paywall on his Patreon, which is kind of fair, right? That's not really fair to have a mod cost money to get access to. But also, other YouTubers have done that all the time. And the Minecraft Marketplace does exactly that with add-ons, so like, why target this specific person and call them a criminal? <laughs> anyway, that's not what matters. The really bad part is when I made the terrible mistake of daring to scroll down into the comment section of that video, and it was not good. There were a few reasonable people, but the vast majority were people parroting similar incorrect rhetorics. See, this group of people, and we're not talking about a small group, we're talking about thousands, I've seen tens of thousands of people who are building supremacists. And it is people exactly like that that are holding the game back from its actual true potential. They don't want it to reach its potential. What do I mean by that? 
Minecraft is a game with something for almost everyone, right? It has so many different aspects to it, as I've talked about before, with combat, building, engineering, exploration, progression, all of those things and more. Combined, they appeal to a lot of different people, and so many people who play Minecraft have different play styles or like one aspect more than the other. Which is natural, of course. I like exploration more than I like engineering. With Minecraft, the whole point is that you play the game how you want because the game has something for you. And these people are trying to take that away, basically. See, in this case, there has been much talk of, like with Jet's videos, people wanting to improve the game in the areas of exploration and progression because those are the two areas that is admittedly probably the most lackluster aside from maybe combat. But the people I saw there, they didn't want that. They didn't want Minecraft to embrace more of its RPG elements or anything. They wanted just stuff for building, which is of course normal, right? To want more of what you like. Except the problem was that they were saying that the game shouldn't add any of what other people like, like exploration and progression. It's self-centered, it's narcissistic, and what they usually use as an excuse is, oh, Minecraft is a sandbox game, or oh, Minecraft isn't an RPG. And both of those statements are somewhat true, but also kind of wrong. I'm honestly so tired of people trying to say that Minecraft is just building. Even as someone who's a builder myself. Just allow me to put this into perspective for a moment. Imagine if Minecraft really was just building like so many people are saying, or building and exploration. Following this logic, why do we have XP enchanting a literal dragon boss fight? another boss fight, hostile mobs that fight you, a hunger system, survival mode in general, the trial chambers, a giant dungeon structure, different tiers of weapons. If Minecraft is meant just for builders, we wouldn't have any of that. It would just be creative mode with no progression, just build whatever you want with all the blocks in the world. And yeah, that would be a cool game still, but it wouldn't be nearly as popular as real-world Minecraft is. Why? Because it's only for one small group of people, then. It's not inclusive like actual Minecraft is. And so many people want that. They want Minecraft to be just for them. Mojang can't focus on progression or exploration or combat. I want Minecraft to be just building. Because I like building, I don't care about what anyone else likes. It, it actually blows my mind to some extent to see people arguing that kind of stuff. Because, whether you like it or not, Minecraft is a semi-RPG as well, in addition to being a sandbox. The developers made that choice to have it be a semi-RPG as soon as they started adding things like enchanting. And of course, survival mode. And if you don't like that, then, I don't know, take it up with Mojang, because in their latest update, they focused a lot on exploration and combat and progression with the Trial Chambers, a giant classic-style dungeon. So, no, going back to the Hazes video, decorative blocks aren't going to be enough motivation for everyone to go to a specific biome and take hours travel thousands upon thousands of blocks. Because not everyone who plays Minecraft is just like you. It's a game designed to appeal to a very wide audience. But you know what the dumbest part of all of this argument is? That if Mojang took the time to focus more on progression and adding things like more bosses and fixing structure loot and all that stuff, it wouldn't harm the building aspect of the game at all. People could still build just as they did before. They could have the same experience going on casual adventures like they want to. But then for people who want more challenges, it's available for them. 
So the game appeals to that wide audience that it's going for. Because Minecraft actually has that limitless potential to be a game for everyone. And people don't want that because they're impatient and want everything to be focused on the aspect they like immediately. Which is crazy because no matter what update we get, there's always going to be new building blocks added either way. And when Mojang did make an update all about building, people didn't like it. Or at least a large portion of the community. But anyway, fortunately, not all of the community is like this. This is still a minority, albeit a concerningly large one now, who don't respect the very basis of Minecraft. But at the end of the day, every single aspect is necessary to have Minecraft be what it is, and everyone should get updated every here and there. Now I want to leave you with a sort of analogy. Think of all of those different aspects that we talked about as different parts of a human body. It's lifeless at first, with just the parts, but it needs life, and what breathes life into it is challenge. Something very important, and I would say honestly goes beyond an aspect. Challenge can come in many forms, whether that be taking on a tough boss or putting in all of the time to build some huge building. And Minecraft still has a bit of a challenge imbalance where there isn't a lot of challenge in much of the adventure and combat aspect still. Although Tricky Trials certainly helped to mend that issue a fair deal. The game is at its best when it maintains this balance. And that is why I'm working on a video of not why Minecraft's progression and adventure need improving, but how to improve them. Because, unlike the people I saw in those comment sections, I want to see Minecraft get better. Not just for that group of people, but for everyone in the community. And the more this imbalance grows, the less unique Minecraft becomes. It becomes just like any other game. Anyway, that's the main argument of this video done. I know I haven't really called out specific people before, because I actually really don't like doing it, but it felt necessary in this case. But stay positive, everyone. Even when someone in some video or comment section is trying to tell you Minecraft, the game that you love, isn't for you or to go play a different game. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.